Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel. We are going to be talking about the July 2020 energies. This is for Sag Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you smash that like button because there are algorithms out there. And um, the more likes you get, the more your videos are shared. So I would really appreciate a like from all of you if you stop by and check out my channel and this video. For those of you interested, I am doing extended readings. You can go to the link below to my website, purchase a membership there and get access to all of the extended readings for this month and all the months thereafter for a very low monthly fee and you can cancel anytime you like. Now, what I have been noticing uh, this particular month, the readings are coming up initially as absolutely great. But when I do the extended, there is additional advice for how to really make that happen, or there are some sand traps, or there's some, uh, you know, um, quicksand areas that need to be looked at. Uh, just want to make you aware that a lot of extra information is in the extendeds. They're about the same amount of time as the general reading themselves. So consider going to my website and getting a membership there. You can get the basic membership or the extended membership. All right, let's do your pre-shuffle, shall we? Sages, Sages, Sages. Share your energy with me. Sages, I believe that you're missing somebody that used to nurture you pretty significantly. Um, you really miss them and you want them to be in your life again. They might have been a family member or they may have been a loved one, but that is definitely coming up here, Sages. Sages, there is something about a fire. I, I literally just saw that right in front of my face, like um, a fire, uh, something catching fire. Please uh, make sure that you are taking care of electrical outlets and all of that. You do not want to be put in a position where you are having to deal with a small fire in the home. Um, again, Sagis, this could be around you as well. It may not even be your home or your place of residence. You may be hearing about it, but man, a, literally a fire like a fire hose, fire hydrant. I got that as well. Sages. Fire sale. A fire sale, Sages. I, I just got fire sale, whatever that means. Uh, some of you Sages may want to know. Oh, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Well, I guess I was supposed to say it. Fire sale at the stock and stock market. Fire sale. All right. Um, Definite separation, lies, deceit. Something's coming up here with that. Or feeling, feeling as though you've been, you've not been treated fairly, Sages. Mm. Sages, someone has a heavy amount of artillery that they are going to be using in defense of themselves. Yes. And some of you Sagittarius are seriously watching the PGA Tour because I just saw tons of golf balls everywhere. So you might be golfing Sagittarius or you might be really involved in a PGA Tour or, and here I am wearing a Callaway hat. Anyway, that's what I saw, Sages, is what it is. Something about a nickel. Nickel? Something with the word nickel in it, okay? It could even be the metal, nickel, okay? So nickel might have something to do with Maybe you have a reaction to that metal or something about making something out of nickel, okay? Could be nickelback. Maybe nickelback is, you know, doing a social distancing tour. I don't know. But anyway. Some of you are getting some sort of insurance or some sort of payout, insurance payout, possibly, for something. 
that really is going to help you uh, some sort of payout, some sort of money is coming your way, and it is going to help you with stability in the family. All right, free shuffle is over. Let's go ahead and let's get started. I don't want this to go too long. Sages, what do we got for you, Sages? Tour of duty. Something about tour of duty. Sages, you got information. That's all I'm going to say, and it is... Some of you, not all of you, whatever this information is, it's significant. All right. All right, Sages, let's go ahead and or somebody you know has this information and it's significant. All right. Put your energy in the deck, Sages. My beautiful archers. Thank you. Now, when I do this reading, Sages, I want to let you know that in the past, I have done the readings as talking directly to you or talking directly about somebody else. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give you the energies and I'm just going to uh, talk about the archetypes that are here. You decide if this matches with your particular situation or not. My readings go out to about three months every time I do a monthly reading. So this may be July, August, and September for you. So please just be aware of that. I'm going to cut the deck. And let's get started on your July of 2020 reading. First card is the Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork, a lot of teamwork. Second card is the Five of Wands. When you have teamwork and then you have the Five of Wands after the teamwork, this is um, a team that is going through a phase in their life, Sagittarius, where there is all of a sudden infighting, okay? It worked before, but now it's like there are power plays, people are power hungry, that's what's going on. The King of Cups. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy. This person is not paying attention to this at all, Sages. This person has their back turned to this level of tomfoolery, playing around, competition, um, disagreement. Um, you know, the plan isn't working. They're just not even paying attention to it. They're, whatever's happening here, Sagittarius, somebody has literally got their whole body turned saying, you know what, I'm just not going to worry about that chaos because eh, it doesn't really affect me. Okay, so some, somebody is having that particular type of energy around you, Sagittarius. So the fourth card is the Hierophant. Uh, this is a Taurus person. Uh, this could also be uh, someone that is a spiritual leader, a mentor, someone that has great advice regarding a plan. There is something about keys as it relates to this energy as well. So that might make sense to you. There might be keys to a plan or a plan provides the keys to a situation regarding some sort of uh, conflict or disagreement or battle of some sort. This might be related to religion as well. And I'm going to be honest with you, Sagittarius, when we take a look at this, you have the three of pentacles, which is the overarch. And it looks very similar to a cathedral. And then you've got the priest. There might be significance, Sagittarius, relative to a wedding, a church, a funeral, whatever it is. Someone is attending a church, a cathedral, um, a place of worship. There might be chaos around a place of worship. So what do we have going on, Sages, with your fifth energy? You have the world. So what I am sensing here, Sagittarius, is that the world card is all about being hemmed in, being isolated, being secluded, being sequestered. This woman isn't going anywhere. She's trapped in this wreath of like, it looks like marijuana. So marijuana might be of great significance for some people. But the thing about it is, it's like the marijuana, the drugs, someone here feels trapped. There's an innocent victim here. Someone has been an innocent victim of um, competition or battles or disruption, chaos. Someone is an innocent victim here, Sages. So what is the next energy, Sages? The Ace of Swords. In the end, Sages, great truth will be coming out. And it is likely going to be great truth about this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio masculine energy. 
this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I believe it's two different people, okay? Because the uh, King of Cups is over the Ace of Swords, this could be this water sign masculine energy that is bringing forth the truth, that's bringing forth the energy that is victorious in whatever it is that they have planned to get out of this chaos, this nastiness, whatever it is, getting, getting order back into a situation. For others of you, this particular uh, water sign masculine is going to have the truth revealed about them, which is going to reveal how they turned their back to chaos, um, isolation, plans that did not work, overabundance of control, lording their control over other people amongst emotions that were sky high. Okay, that is the energy I am seeing here, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, someone uh, may be revealing the truth, and when they do, it causes the chaos. It causes um, conflict. It causes infighting in a situation. Sagittarius, there is someone here or a group of people here that are trying to get into a protected location, a protected environment. This will not happen this particular environment, this particular precious piece of, um, of I want to say pre precious piece of real estate, but it's this precious section or a precious energy that someone, a group of people are trying to infiltrate. It will not work. It absolutely will not work, Sagittarius, because look at this. Here's all the fighting. Here is them after they're done fighting. They're trying to get into this sacred space. They can't get in. This woman is protected or this energy is protected from outside turmoil. It almost appears to me that order will be restored in a situation, Sagittarius. I just heard, Mama, I'm coming home. So whatever that means to you, Sagittarius, that's what I'm picking up. There is definitely something about a classic. This could be a classic, a book that is from the classics like Moby Dick. This could be a classic, like a classic car, Sagittarius. I'm just hearing classic, okay? Or like when somebody says class, 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 that person has class, class, class. You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of like a, it's, it's kind of like a diss because um, they're not very classy, okay? You know, honestly, uh, Sagittarius, I think what I'm going to do here is um, for your particular title, I think I'm going to say that infiltration fails. Mm -hmm. Infiltration fails. That is just what I'm picking up here. Sag, you let me know what that means, but I'm going to put infiltration fails, okay? And I pray that this is exactly what you want to hear. All right, I am going to go ahead and get into the extended reading. I'm going to be pulling from the Witch's Tarot, and I will clarify the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, no, the Five of Wands, the World, and the Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands, the World, the Ace of Swords. I'm using two cards for singles and couples for Journey of Love. I am using the Goddess Isis deck for uh, the advice. I'm going to use Gods and Titans for financial and career energies. All right. Thank you so much for all of your support, my beautiful Sages. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.